Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing five gifted ideas that you can buy for the sewist in your life for under $10. Let's get into it. Stay tuned for bonus item number six at the end of today's video. So what are you going to buy for the sewist in your life? It's almost gift. It's almost Christmas time. If you are still looking to buy someone a gift, here's some gift ideas for you. So my first idea is these awesome containers and they are from the Dollar Tree. Now, I have not seen these every time and I don't know if you can buy them online, but it's definitely worth the hunt. So these containers snap on both sides and then the lid comes off. They're meant to be a food container. So you find them in the food storage aisle. I keep my pins in these. I have carpet in my craft room, so it is a large fear of mine to drop the pins and step on them. I trust these containers very much. I also use them for my labels and my bigger pins. So I have my big pins here and I have my little pins here. I actually really like these big pins, so these are boutonniere pins because it makes it very clear and easy to see where they are. Um, the only downside is that they do leave a little bit bigger of a hole in the fabric. The pro about these pins is that they're um, smaller and sharper and they are glass head pins, so that means you can iron over them. You cannot iron over plastic pins. My next gift idea is to buy needles. Now, there are a lot of different kinds of needles. This is just a pack of universal needles. That means that someone could use it in their sewing machine, their serge machine, many, many different kinds of machines. So universal needles are a great gift to give because most people can use them. Um, I would be a little hesitant on getting specialty needles because you don't know what that person's preferences is and um, if they have a certain brand of needle they like and whatnot, but buying a pack of universal needles is really helpful. Even if it's not their preferred needle, you always run out of needles and maybe need one and don't want to run to the store. So it would be good to have some extra universal needles on hand. My next gift idea is to get a pack of friction pens. So there's multiple different varieties of friction pens. This is the um, friction clicker erasable pen. So you click it. Friction pens, if you're not familiar, when you write with them, you can use the other side and erase. How that happens is because of the heat of the friction, it causes the pen to erase. In sewing, if we use friction pens to draw our markings, we can iron the friction marker away. This version is um, Pilot Erasable Fine Liner. So this is more of a marker rather than a ballpoint pen. And again, same thing, you can use them to write on the fabric and then you can iron them off. Now, I, the only downside I've heard to these pens is that there are cases when you use them on lighter fabric and you have used the um, iron to make the marking go away that post making the project that you will see the markings show back up when uh, using cold water. Um, I have not personally experienced this, but I have heard um, reviews of that online. Another gift idea I have is to get someone a pack of chopsticks. Um, so chopsticks are a really great item to have in the sewing room. When you have turned something right side out and you need to poke out the corners, some people use the tip of a pen, some people use the tip of their scissors, but both of those can be a little too sharp and um, they might poke through or they might mark on what the item is. So a chopstick is a great tool because it has a flat top. So giving a pack of chopsticks, again, if the person already has pens, if they already have chopsticks, it doesn't matter. You can always use more. You can misplace it. You could use it when you're going on the go. So you can never have enough. Now, I have noticed that there is a difference in quality of chopsticks. So chopsticks are a cheaper item. So I would vouch that you buy a more expensive chopstick so that it's a better quality. You could even get, they have a, you know, plastic or ceramic uh, chopsticks. So you could find one that matches the person's personality. I've seen chopsticks with cats or dogs. Um, so you could find chopstick that matches that person's personality. You could even try shopping on Etsy. I'm sure that they have personalized chopsticks. A chopstick could be a very great gift for the sewist in your life. So gift item number five is seam ripper. 
I don't know if you know this, whether or not you are a sewist, but seam rippers, the blade actually does get dull. So they do have a lifespan. They do die out. You do need new seam rippers. So if the sewist in your life has forgotten to replace their seam ripper, it would be great if you got them one so they could throw theirs out or put theirs on the back burner in case they lose the other one. Now, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna show you bonus item number six. So bonus item number six doesn't fall under the uh, under $10 category. However, I have talked about this item a lot of times. I think this is a fantastic item. It expands your inventory so much and allows you to have a um, lot of different colors on hand in a little bit of space at a great cost. So the retail of this product, I believe is $40. I don't mean to scare you. Uh, but you could always use a coupon and you can always get it on sale. So I'd highly recommend when Joann's comes out with the 40, 50, $60, 40, $60, 40, 50, 60% off coupon that you use that. The gift idea I have is the Guterman thread. So I am definitely a Guterman thread girl. This is the um, polyester version. If the person is a quilter, then I would recommend getting the cotton version. If you don't know, um, you could get either or. The person could still use it in an offhand project. Like for instance, I don't really use cotton, but if somebody bought me the cotton one, it'd be cool to have on hand. And then if I needed it, I had it. Um, if you know that the person is more into making bags or making clothes, then it's more likely that they would want the polyester. The great thing about this product is that you get 26 spools of thread. Like I said, I believe it's normally $40, but then with the coupon, you could get it for like 20. So that puts each spool at about a dollar each, if not less. And it gives you such a variety of color. I love using these threads for top stitching. Um, I don't do a lot of top stitching in a lot of different colors. So I like having these for when I do have um, the need for a different color. Uh, my most used colors are black and white. And so I buy these in the bigger spools. I wouldn't really recommend these as a gift because if you do not know what the person is into or what kind of thread that they like using, this is a lot of thread to burn through. But personally, I love these threads. It helps me not go through as many spools because these are much larger. So these are 1,000 meters, which is 1,094 yards. These smaller ones are only 110 yards or 100 meters. So it's significantly smaller. This multi-pack would be a great gift. You could even do both if you have the budget for it. Get the polyester and the cotton or do a combination of different things, right? Get them chopsticks and a seam ripper. Any of these gifts, I'm sure the sewists in your life would love to have. And even if they already have it, it doesn't matter. They could always use more. Let me know what your gift recommendations are in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a lovely day.